while not a required skill in this course, um, something that you need to learn for your surgical life would be proper application of a scalpel blade onto a scalpel handle. Now there are various sizes of scalpel blades and scalpel handles. I happen to have a, a, a number three Bard Parker scalpel handle here and a number 10 Bard Parker scalpel blade. Obviously the scalpel blade uh, has got a fair length of um, sharp edge and blade to it, i.e. it is called a scalpel blade. And so you need to avoid that. Um, it would be very dangerous to apply this scalpel blade to the scalpel handle using your fingers. Um, some surgeons probably get in a hurry and can do it safely. But what I would recommend, however, is that you properly apply the scalpel blade by grasping the scalpel blade with an instrument, avoiding um, as much as you can handling the, the, the blade, not only because it's... Um, obviously safer for your hands and obviously not to poke a hole in your glove and cut yourself, but it's also obviously important to avoid um, manipulating a blade because you want it to be as sharp as possible. So the scalpel blade should be properly applied in this manner, either using a curved or any type of Kelly forceps such as that, uh, or you can do a same technique using your um, needle holders. But it behooves you to learn to apply the scalpel blade to the scalpel handle safely by using an instrument that's not your fingers. To remove the scalpel blade, again, you could do this with your fingers, but it's cumbersome and dangerous. You just simply lift up on the back of the blade and slide it off carefully and with using uh, an instrument that's not the tips of your fingers.